Hi, my name is Sat Beans, um, welcome to the restaurant. Um, I'm based in Nottingham. Uh, my role here is Chef Patron, I'm the boss. I've been cooking 22 years and it's just as exciting, it's probably more exciting now than it's ever been. So today I'm going to cook for you some beautiful goose duck. It's been poached and grilled to render the fat, uh, make it very crispy, very moist. Uh, so with some English feta cheese, some fresh mint, and some compressed pickled uh, apples. And it's just served with some penny wort, which is a nice herb from the uh, English country. So that's been poached for an hour at 60 degrees. We're gonna get it to the caramelization stage, so it's really rendered away some of the fat. So you want it nice and lean. You poach it, chill it, and then we're gonna grill it. As you can see, it's all glossy, but what if you do that, it's crunchy. And the beauty of the duck is, it's got this lovely corn-fed flavour, if that makes sense. So now again, some fine sea salt. All I'm going to do is just season the top. There's no salt on this gone prior. This is the only seasoning I'm going to give this duck. And then now I'm going to grill it. So the grilling process is where you add your second layer of flavouring and also re-emphasising the crispiness of the fat. And as it bubbles, you season it. So all the flavour of the fried rice goes into the fat. Well, we use a company called uh, San Barber. And it's got cloves in there, it's got pepper, it's got Szechuan, and it's got this lovely, obviously, oriental taste. So as you can see, it stopped caramelizing, but I'm trying to give you a dish here that is very British, has influences from all over the world, and hopefully give you something quite unique. The, I didn't want to do Indian food. What I did, I wanted to use some of them elements and give you something that's quite exciting, but also gives you an identity of my character as a chef, that he has got Asian heritage, but it's not Indian food. Okay, what we have here, Bernazette. Bernazette, again, is nut brown butter. That now is set. Raspberry vinegar, again, adds a beautiful acidity. Again, I wanted to add a fruit, fruitiness to the dish, but I didn't want to give you a stock. Here I've got some parsnip puree, very classic. So you, you poach your parsnips, we add some apple. So acidity peaks, keeps salivating your mouth, keeps it clean, and it's a nice way to keep everything fresh. There's no such thing as a perfect tasting menu, which, which we're sort of, I'm still striving for that. You know, beauty of food is very subjective. Someone's palate is different to everyone else's. We just work on what we believe goes well together. It is a destination restaurant, so people are coming here for an experience. The idea of this apple, again, is compressed. So what we've done is we've allowed it to absorb in some vinegar, sugar, and salt. You can see where it's going translucent, that's what you want. So it's denatured the actual apple's texture. Again, I've got some English feta cheese. The presentation here is very simple, it's not set. I don't want it to be too conformed. This is quite strong, so you don't need much. You know, when a dish is vibrant and you want to get it out, you want to get it out quick. And also the presentation we do here, if you look at that, just nice and pink, but it's even all the way through. So that's going to be the same flavour and texture all the way through. But the layer of fat, see that juice? See that fat coming from there? And that's what you want. That's what's basting it, keeping it moist, yeah? So again, I'll cut this into six. A little tip, always season the exposed flesh. Years ago as a chef, you would shit yourself some of coming back. Oh my God, what did I do wrong? You can't cater for everybody. Again, real simple presentation, not too fussy just straight on the plate. I hate presentation. I think it's very overrated. I think too many chefs spend too much time building too many fucking towers and then the customer suffers because the vibrance is gone. I've got some mint. The mint is great because if you think of feta and mint, it's a classic combination. It's like a salad. So what you use to tear them in. We're the experts on our food. I'm an expert on my food. I'm not an expert on food, just my food. Again, we don't need a lot. It's only going to dress. And again, your, your idea is to get it out, get it out, get it out, you know, get it out to the customer so they benefit from it. So again, the chocolate, what it will do, it's almost seasoning the dish.
Hey, this is John, my head chef. He's been with me seven years. Um, he's probably the, the rock behind everything we do. He's working at uh, his yeah. firm at Fair. This is Val, our chef de party. Hey, this is Alex. He's been as our sous chef. He's been with us two years. Uh, yeah, he's been pretty much the firm at Fair, but he's also uh, very free reign for creativeness. You've seen the location. It's very strange. It's obscure. What I like about uh, Nottingham for us and also this location it's quite underground it's quite edgy and we want the restaurant itself the food especially the service to elevate to world class <laughs>